What's going on everybody? It's your boy J Main back checking in with the people. And today we got some news about Death Stranding. The man Hideo Kojima already crippling my E3 predictions. Yes, Death Stranding will not be at E3 2017 this year. Hideo Kojima came out with a tweet today saying, Apologies to our fans, Death Stranding will not be at E3 as we are fully focused on development. Please see me with Jeff Keighley on 6-14, June 14th at the E3 Coliseum. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jeff Keighley will be hosting the E3 Coliseum on June 13th and June 14th, where he'll have a bunch of developers and creators on stage talking about games, VR, uh, Project Scorpio, and anything that these developers and creators want to go in depth with that they've been working on. Now, Hideo Kojima also tweeted out a picture. It looks like a spider web and it has bridge underneath it in uh, white letters. So of course, you know, a couple people are gonna go in depth and try and figure out if this is like some cryptic message talking about the game. I ain't got time for all of that. I'ma leave that to them and then I'll read upon anything that comes out of this. But yeah, like when I heard this news, I wasn't mad. Cause even though I predicted Death Stranding to be at E3 2017, my prediction was that it would be like a character trailer, similar to what we got already. So the first one was Norman Reedus. The second one was Guillermo del Toro. So like, if they're gonna show another one like that, I can understand why Death Stranding is gonna miss E3 2017 this year because at this point, they probably don't wanna oversaturate you know, the game. Like they don't wanna keep throwing it in people's faces if they're not gonna be showing anything that can give people an idea of what the game is. Like we already know it looks beautiful. We can already tell that he's going for a star-studded cast with a uh, different uh, for characters in the game. So we got that already. Um, we can get the environment of the game, the the ambiance, the, the music, everything is all eerie and creepy and stuff like that. We get all that. I think at this point, people just want to know what kind of game it is and how it's going to play. So I, I applaud them for actually taking a step back and taking the, their uh, selves out of the big stage if they don't have anything uh, more, I would say, to give to the fans other than a cinematic trailer. You know, so like... That led people to believe that maybe this game was announced too early. Now, in my opinion, I'm not the one that's going to sit here and say, oh, you know, the only way a game should be revealed is if it's ready to come out in six months. Now, while that is ideal, I understand that every publisher developer cannot do that. Um, everything is not Grand Theft Auto. Everything is not Fallout. Everything is not something that you can just put out and it'll sell millions of copies. That's not going to happen for every game. So every game kind of has to play it different and have a different format and different rollout. Now, for a game like Death Stranding, I think you gotta look at this a little bit different. Now, I understand that the whole Hideo Kojima situation back in, uh, what was that, 2015? Yeah, I believe it was 2015 with uh, Konami and him leaving and getting fired or whatever you wanna call it, the whole Konami situation with his employees and Everything about that whole Hideo Kojima situation was just crazy. And to see um, at the end of the year, them come out with the partnership where him and Sony were going to be working together and he was going to basically get free reigns to make a game. I think they wanted to capture that moment and, you know, as soon as possible, put him back out there on stage. That way fans can kind of embrace him and, you know, applaud him of everything he's done and celebrate kind of Hideo Kojima for a while. And then he can show us what he's been working on um, for that little bit of time. Now I think it's time for him to step back a little bit. As far as showing the game, step back a little bit and work on the game. And the next time they show the actual game, it could be something that we can look at and say, okay, I understand what kind of game this is and go from there. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I usually say, you know, you tease a game one year, the next year you show gameplay. And then by that year after, you should have a release date set, um, at least a release window set for the game to come out. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn did it where in 2015, they revealed the game with gameplay. So that kind of did two things right there in one. And then by the year after, they had a release date set for 2016, but it got delayed to 2017. Um, what's another one? I believe Last of Us. In 2011, they teased The Last of Us with a kind of like a cinematic trailer. By 2012, they had a gameplay trailer for us and the game came out in 2013. So that kind of format if you're not gonna go with the, okay, announce it here in the same year, release it the same year, I think that rollout is pretty cool 
because you're not giving people too much, but you're keeping them on edge. You're keeping that suspense high for them to, um, you know, be looking forward to that game. Um, Death Stranding, yeah, go away. <laughs> I said this on Twitter, go away. We saw two cinematic trailers already. If you weren't gonna come to this year's E3 with gameplay, I understand. Go away, maybe even stay away until E3 2018 because everybody just wants to see gameplay at this point. So you stay away till E3 2018, maybe come with the gameplay, and then I'm predicting that the game is gonna come out late 2019. So yeah, that would kind of be okay because you teased it one year, you went away, you came back with a gameplay trailer the next year, and then the year after that, you released the game. Now, releasing, I mean, excuse me, revealing a game like Kingdom Hearts, Lord have mercy. We waited so many years for that game to just be announced. And they did in 2013. It's 2017 now, and we still don't even have a release date. And it don't look like we're going to even get a release date for that game. Probably not until next year. I'm hoping it can come out next year. But the way they're talking about that game is as if, like, they literally, when they revealed that game, like, they literally only had that. Like, they didn't have anything else going for that game. So when you reveal games like that, that's a no-no. But that's Square Enix, and that's what they do. Um, I think Microsoft does it well where they reveal a game and then use you within that year they release it or by that next year they release it. Now they had a few hiccups where games got canceled and delays, but that happens. And I think as a, as a whole, these first party publishers are doing a better job with not having to delay these games, um, by either not putting release dates on them or not revealing them till they feel they're comfortable enough that this game is going to hit within a year or so. So, you know, like... I'm okay with all this getting you hyped for a game for years and then dropping it on you. I'm just not okay if it goes past, I say, two or three years. If it goes past three years, then it's a problem. Um, if it's six months or, you know, better, I'm fine with that. Of course, why wouldn't I be? You know, the quicker, the sooner, the better, especially if it's a game that you want. Now, um, I don't know. This this game, it it has a lot to prove. Um, Hideo Kojima himself, people call him a genius. I'm, I'm cool with his games. I'm not the biggest Hideo Kojima fan, but I'll, I'll get down with his uh, ideologies and things like that. I'm cool with trying to figure out what he has going on in these games, but you know, it'll, it'll, it'll speak for itself when we see it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like it has to go away. Let the game do the talking. You can do your little interviews here and there, talk more about it. But as far as showing us, stay away. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Did you feel like Death Drinning was announced too early? Do you feel like this game won't be coming for a long time? I mean, some people even say PS5 game. That'll be crazy, <laughs> but you just never know these days. Um, just let me know down in the comment section what you think. Uh, E3 is so damn close. The hype is real. I, as each day passes, I'm just getting hyped and hyped. So I'm hoping to do a live reaction for these conferences that I'm home for. And you'll know about that on my channel, of course. But hit that thumbs up. Or thumbs down if you ain't like the video, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.